people have any questions? Let me, let, me, let me say something that, you know, I want to add something about the conversation here. You know, the difference between the Chipotle workers, they don't have union, and with us, that the company, you know, they fire worker in the instant, in one minute. With us, you know, the company went to, first to us and say, hey, we have to deal with this. <laughs> one another difference is that I, I mean, Chipotle always deny what, what happened with them. They always deny, deny, deny. Until we decide, because we support the tool in the Chipotle campaign, they start to talk, you know, publicity about, oh, we, we are on the I9, we are the, on the audit, but first, they deny, completely deny. Even they deny to, the, to, to own money to the workers. Until they start to feel the pressure. So, so regarding your question is that I mean, much letter at, you know, they are not exist anymore. They, they can send letters, but you know it's, 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 it's no case for 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 um, for employers to do something, you know, because that there was a, I think I believe the case was was denied at the Supreme Court. Yeah. So there's a there's a there's a legal letter that comes from the Social Security Administration. And that's different. Those those no match letters don't come from Social Security Administration. But if an employer gets a no match letter from Social Security Administration, the employer is not legally allowed to take any action against a worker. So if you're if you're talking about like a no match letter from Social Security Administration, an employer is not supposed to take any action against a worker. If you're talking about a nine nine audit from immigration, which I think you might have been asking. Yeah, sorry, yeah. So if in theory, the employer should have, a worker should have 90 days to be able to provide correct documentation. And then if the employer doesn't fire that person, if they haven't been able to prove proper documentation within 90 days, then they could face a fine from, from immigration. In practice, at Chipotle, they just fire people with no notice whatsoever. They should have given 90 days. But. letters from Social Security Administration, employers were trying to use them to fire workers, which is illegal. And there was a case taken all the way up to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court said that you can't use a no-match letter from Social Security Administration as a reason to fire people. And the Supreme Court actually prevented the Social Security Administration from sending out more no-match letters. But that was related to the Social Security Administration. Okay, not, not, sorry. not around the iron I see there.
that solely a product of those negotiations, or is that something that's become the standard now in all I-9 audits? You know, I think that, you know, the 90 day was a pretty much negotiation between our union and then the uh, ICE. You know, it's kind of hard to implement you know, across the board. But uh, um, with Harbor, we have the uh, 90 days. Yeah. But, you know, we hear that from another um, company's day to Harbor, I mean, I'm sorry, I they don't need any, any, any days. You know, they just, you know, don't know this at all. You know, I want to add something about Chipotle. And for me, for immigrant, to talk about Chipotle, I mean, I'm not from Mexico. I'm from El Salvador. Uh, for me, you know, they hurt, they really hurt the, the, the community. You know, we learned from the Chipotle that, that they were in, in the investigation, the I-9 investigation here in, in Minnesota. They always deny, 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 until they feel the pressure from the worker that they really make a, a, a protest, they take over one store, they get arrested, they, they have media coming out from Wall Street, Washington Post, New York Times, Huffington Post, The Nation, Telemundo, Univision. After that, they uh, accept that the investigation was, I mean, is going to DC and Virginia. So you know what, what, what Chipotle did over there? They and instead to 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 fire people without notice, when workers taking a break, they were in break. They bring the replacement. They put to work immediately when the Chipotle worker came back from the break. You say, hey, I don't know what happened, but you know somebody already you know took your job. So people were forced to leave the job. In other words, they forced to walk out from the job with no notice at all. So the same history. They you know she put their own money to them, vacation, you know, bonus. Of course under the law you don't have you don't have a bonus of vacation, you don't have a contract. But over there, people she put their own money to them. And for that reason Maybe it's not personal because I'm not take this is business, but this is another example. How is that big corporation, restaurant across the board in this country make profit for immigrants? Chipotle, one example. Food with integrity, right? We love immigrants. We love. But now, say, sorry boys, we have another one. You know, go online. We, you fire. So, yeah. So, and, and, and we expect that, that Chipotle is going to start to uh, I 9 process in you know, another state, California, Kansas, we hear Kansas, Chicago, New York. Thanks, Steven. Yeah, that's kind of interesting what they did because they, um, you know, we we put a lot of pressure in this because, like I say, you know, we believe that Chipotle was them that make profit. But in the beginning, you know, they they deny, you know, they changed the they changed the the, the the message several times. 
But I remember they say, oh, we we'll suffer now because we lost our workers. It's like a family for us. You can read it in, in the news, I, you know. I mean, if you go to this uh, website, we can write it, but if you go to the Like Us and Facebook, we have everything in there. And then basically, basically all the articles about us talking, they are there, and they say, oh, we're suffering. You know, we're going to lose money in this because we're going to lose a lot of members, a lot of workers, the new workers, they don't know what they're going to do. So you know what happened a month ago? They had an interview with the, with the Wall Street Journal and um, people from, um, from, um, from Wall Street, and they say, hey, you know what? We were concerned about we are going to lose money because we're going to have a lot of tools now, and you know, we fire 500 people here, but we are wrong, actually. We're gonna make money in this because the new people we're gonna pay less. We're gonna pay them less. We say, you know, we say vacation bonus for several years, and then of course you know if the, if the worker before they making a ten, eleven dollar the hour, now they only pay eight, eight fifty. So. Why? Why they 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 they? they <coughs> but because it's but simple, you know. They because of the of the same for the for the economy, right? People are hungry to to work. You know, they don't care how much money you you wanna make. They just you know they they have family to feed and say, well, you know, I can take your job for eight dollar fifty cent. That's fine for for us. So this is that you know you know the the kind of the economy that we build right now. This and then, of course, Chipotle has became another uh, food chain. You know, uh, we have uh, uh, McDonald's uh, was the famous, but now it's Chipotle. You know, with thousands of stores, they open pretty much a store every every day. Every day.